A few of my LinkedIn friends have asked me to prepare a video on what is the portfolio impact of corporate actions on a hedge funds portfolio. Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your learning partner, Sushila Hari Haran. If you're interested in a career in fund accounting, corporate actions, trade life cycle or OTC derivatives, then do like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I provide research rich content centric videos on these topics. Please also hit the bell icon in order to get notifications for all the quizzes that I post on the community page of my YouTube channel. Let's take a look at what are some of the corporate actions in a quick snapshot. Corporate actions can either be mandatory or voluntary. If it's mandatory, it's, it means that the action is mandatory. If it's voluntary, it means that the investor decision is needed to be exercised before the corporate action entitlement becomes due to the investor. Corporate actions could impact equity instruments. These include dividends and stock splits. It could impact fixed income instruments like coupon, bond redemptions, bond conversions. It could also be something as simple as changing the company name, which could, which sounds simple, but actually could result into change of an ISIN, etc. So corporate actions could affect either the equity capital or the fixed income capital, or it could even affect the structure of the title of the organization and so on. Let's take a look at stock split. A stock split is a mandatory corporate action. It is an equity corporate action. The par value of the stock is reduced. How is the announcement for the par value of the stock being reduced made? Let's take a look at the announcement that could be made by a company with this example. One of the ways to make the stock split announcement is to announce that the par value of the stock is reduced. Let's say from $10 to $2. Par value is the term that is also used for face value or nominal value for equity instruments. And one of the ways that stock split announcement is made is that the par value is reduced. Let's say the pre-split holding and the post-split holding. And this is how you have to evaluate the portfolio impact. If the pre-split holding is one share, then the post-split holding is five times that because the par value of the stock is reduced from $10 to $2. If the pre-split holding is one share, the post-split holding therefore is five shares. Another way to make the split announcement is through something called the split ratio. Let's say the split ratio is five is to one. Let's analyze what is the pre-split holding and the post-split holding. The pre-split holding is one share. The post-split holding therefore is five shares. Okay. This automatically means that the par value has been reduced in the case of a stock split. Let's go back to my favorite hedge fund, Hurry Hedge Fund, which owns about 100,000 shares of KH Inc. The par value of the stock is $10. The market price of the stock is $50. What happens on the record date if KH Inc. has announced a 5 to 1 split? The pre-split status of the company's holding is like this. The number of shares of KH Inc. held is 100,000. The par value is $10. The market price is $50. The holding value is $5 million. That is 100,000 multiplied by 50. Let's look at what happens to the... Let's now calculate the post-split holding. The par value is uh, reduced from 10 to 2. The number of shares is multiplied because they have announced a 5 is to 1 split. That means for every one share they have, they will get 4 additional shares and that means the post split holding would be 500,000. The par value is reduced from 10 to 2, right? Because you're getting five times more number of shares. The initial holding is extinguished. The new holding is five times the number of shares. The par value is reduced by five. The market price therefore has to correct for this reduction in the par value and this surge in the number of shares. The market price falls from $50 to $10. How do I get $10? $50 divided by number of shares. Therefore, on the record date, these are the actions that take place in the investor's portfolio. Okay. What is the total impact on the portfolio because of this single corporate uh, action? The portfolio impact is the port holding value remains the same. All these structural changes have taken place in the power value, the number of shares, etc. But the holding value remains the same. Let's take another example of a, of a 
corporate action that's similar to stock split, that's bonus. It's a mandatory corporate action. It's an equity corporate action. It's an issue of additional shares. The bonus is announced in a ratio which shows you what is the entitlement of the investor. So let's go back to Hari Hedge Fund, which owns about 100,000 shares of KH Inc. The market price of the stock is $50. KH Inc. announces a 4 is to 1 bonus. Let's interpret this ratio. That means if Hari Hedge Fund owns one share, they will get four additional shares. Okay. So in bonus, the ratio would look something like this. The pre-bonus holding is one. They get a bonus of four and post-bonus holding would therefore become five. Okay. Going back to the table, the number of shares is 100,000. The power value is $10. The market price of KH Inc. is $50. The holding value is $5 million. The number of bonus shares issued is $400,000. The power value is not changed. Okay. Uh, there's a long LinkedIn post that has got some very interesting comments written by many experts and veterans. I'm sharing that LinkedIn post below in the comment section for us to be able to understand the difference between a stock split and a bonus. Post bonus, the number of shares is 100,000 plus 400,000. That gives us 500,000. So please understand the difference in the ratio. The ratios mentioned. The power value remains the same. The market price will come down because, not because the power value is changed, because the power value hasn't changed, but because now there are five times more number of shares in the stock market. Right? That With that surge in liquidity, with that surge in supply, the prices will come down on the record date. The holding value of the post-bonus holding and the pre-bonus holding would remain the same at $5 million. All right. So please understand the way the ratios are interpreted. So if you're an executive working in corporate actions, remember that portfolio impact varies from CA to CA. That's corporate actions to corporate actions. Three things to remember. Pay attention to the entitlement ratio and how it is interpreted. Pay attention to the most important date in corporate actions and that's the record date because you're an investor, so you should be an investor on the record date in order to get that entitlement. And finally, complete all the key tasks before the X date. Okay, these are the three most important things to remember if you're an executive working in corporate actions with a hedge fund accounting firm. Thank you everybody for, lit for listening into this video and do subscribe and hit that like button so that you know the latest videos I'm uploading on different aspects of fund accounting, corporate action, state life cycle and OTC derivatives. Thank you so much.